Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning from Japan. Hello. It is Tuesday. It's Tuesday. What's going on, everybody? It's Tuesday morning here in Japan. My name is Corey. Welcome to the video. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we're just getting started. And I keep shaking off like insects and stuff. Ants are crawling all over me. It's not good. <laughs> Anyways, let's see if uh, chat starts popping up. Um, are we live? Okay, yeah, I see the timer. We're live. Don't see chat. Don't see chat. Can you guys hear me? Hello? Moshi Moshi. Ah, okay, there we go. Uh, Emmanuel, how you doing? Mom, good morning. How are you, mom? Guys, let's get some hearts in chat for my mom, Kijame. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, Sasha, Sid Pernicious, Eric, how are you guys? Uh, am I in a good area for reception? I don't know. Oh, God, the sun. The sun has come out. Why? Hello? Uh, I don't know if what's happening. <laughs> the chat is like slow, <laughs> I guess. Uh, Choco Cat, good morning. Yep, yep. Uh, Camfe, how are you? Amy, Kayana, how are you? Sage, good morning, good morning. It's good? Okay, yeah, thank you. I think it's just the, the app itself um, that the chat was like rolling and then it would stop. And then I'm like, uh, is it stuck? I'm like, okay. Anyways, guys, good morning. It is um, uh, 10 a.m. here, Tuesday morning in Japan. Uh, Liz, yellow. And uh, we're doing a live stream today. We're doing a live stream. And today, uh, unfortunately, we are not in Tokyo. Um, we are in a neighborhood here. We're in my neighborhood, I guess. Uh, we're out here in Matsudo in Chiba Prefecture. And uh, as you can see, it's kind of cleared up a little bit. J just, just right here. I can see some blue skies and stuff. So the sun's peaking. Everywhere else is cloudy. If I look in any other direction, it's just super cloudy. But I think it's clearing up for a little bit. Um, we're in rainy season. It's been raining a lot. That's why I couldn't stream yesterday. Um, it rained over the weekend. It's supposed to rain every day this week, except for most of today, I guess. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the situation. Um, reception's good. Looks like a nice spot. Yeah, this is, um, this is a, a park, a local park. And um, I've streamed here once before. It was uh, last year during the heat wave. There was like a massive heat wave and I didn't want to like walk around in the heat. So I actually sat on a bench in this park and uh, talked to you guys for like an hour. Yeah, um, everyone doing okay? Uh, let me try to say hello to people in the chat. Again, yeah, Kevin, good morning. Cat eats pizza, how are you? Jason, aloha, how's it? Olivia, good morning, good morning. Yep, Johnny uh, Picardo, hello. Uh, Tetrarch, how are you? Corey being followed. Yeah, I noticed this old man is like coming up, like I think he was curious about what I'm doing. So he's like, I'm gonna just creep up on this guy. Um, anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, we're gonna just walk around here. Um, yeah, like, I, I don't know. The, I, I can see clouds like in the distance. We're in rainy season. I wasn't sure if it was gonna rain today or not. So instead of going all the way to Tokyo and then finding out like, oh my God, it's raining this morning and then I have to cancel another stream. Uh, instead of that happening, I decided just keep it local. I think you guys probably wanna see some local stuff too around where I live. Um, I'm not gonna show you where I live specifically, but um, you know, just kinda like the neighborhood and some other stuff. Um, yeah, so hopefully that's okay for you guys. Uh, several things I want to say, click the cogwheel, make sure you hit that 1080p. We are streaming in 1080p resolution. And, um, as we walk around, if the signal like cuts out, um, you know, starts buffering or something, you know, please hang tight. You guys know the, uh, you guys know the deal. And then, um, if I miss hellos and goodbyes, you know, questions and comments in the chat, I do apologize for that as well. Um, sometimes chat goes really fast and I can't read everything at, at once. So please don't get angry. Um, don't be a spurg. Um, mods will ban you. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I think you guys are cool. Um, you guys are all good. So, uh, let me see here. Amy, good morning. D hello, Gabe. What's up? How are you? Abigail, what's going on? Uh, Chuckles says stream started early. Uh, no, no, it was on time. Uh, it's always 10 a.m. Japan time, um, but today's Tuesday instead of the usual Monday. 
follow my obsession. Good morning. Fan Marie, aloha. How are you? Sakuraki Tana, how are you? That dog hates you. How are you doing? Speaking of dogs, we got a dog right behind us. There's a black lab. Yay, black lab. Inu count number one. Yay. That was going to be my other thing is if we see any cats or dogs, guys, we're going to have, uh, we're going to be counting cats and dogs as we go around. Gypsy. How are you doing, Gypsy? Looking like a good day. Yeah, so it's actually really muggy um, because of rainy season. Humidity is at like apps. I just had a mosquito on my hand. Um, <laughs> it's like broad daylight. I'm walking. The mosquito landed on me. Uh, yeah, so it's really muggy. It's hot. And the sun came out. It's uh, before I started, it was 24 degrees Celsius and it's supposed to be up to 30 degrees Celsius today. Uh, it's, it's the humidity, which is going to actually do all that. It's, it's uh, not fun. Not going to lie. Uh, Margaret, how are you doing? Can we count old people too? Asks Gabe. Uh, no, then we would be counting forever because Japan is super, super populated with like old people. Uh, Margaret says, sorry, I missed the last few lives. Ah, oh, no worries. No worries. Yeah. You know, if you, if you can make it, you can make it. If you can't, you can't, you know, don't worry about it. No, no need to apologize. Uh, Kathy three, how you doing? Lurking while doing chores. I like it. Yeah. Generic blue ninja. How are you? So yeah. Um, we're just going to be walking around randomly. First thing though, guys, I need caffeine. We need to find a vending machine and fawn. Yes, I did bring cat treats. <laughs> I did remember to bring cat treats. So we've got that. We're all good. Uh, Justin storm. How are you? Yep, Gigi New York, good morning. Ah, I'm an old people too, yay. We're all old people. Um, let's turn this camera around and uh, start the walk, okay? There we go. Yo, LA girl forever. Enjoy Z. Yeah, how's it going? Um, noticing this house here is like completely covered. Is this abandoned? Yeah, there's like vines everywhere. That whole house is covered. I'm gonna go around the block. Oh, car almost hit this lady. Go, 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 go. That's right, old man, go. Oh, this house is completely covered on this side. Looks kind of cool. Yeah, I think it's abandoned because uh, through the gate and stuff, it's just like you can't even access anything. It's all overgrown. Is that house spooky? Probably, um, you know, I'm out here in Matsudo. It's it's um, it's outside of Tokyo. It's like across the Edo River from Tokyo Prefecture. So we are in a completely different prefecture um, out here. It's you're more likely to run into this kind of stuff, like just abandoned homes um, compared to like in Tokyo. You know what I mean? It's yours, Liz. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it, it's a nice day. Don't get me wrong. It's a very nice day. But man, I wish it was like a few few degrees cooler and I wish there was a little bit of a breeze because it's kind of like stagnant air just it feels so muggy right now looks like a decent house once you get rid of the vines yeah Jason uh, mm. seems like a lot of work though I wonder how much damage those vines caused like to the structure did they go into the foundation and in the walls like you know that kind of stuff water damage Uh, Fawn says, it seems like there are a lot, a ton of, uh, what, what is it? Uh, a lots of abandoned houses there. Why is that? Uh, this is just my guess. Um, we are outside of Tokyo and a lot of the people and families and stuff that were from around here. Um, I think, you know, like over, over time, their children and stuff like that, like migrated more into Tokyo. Like we're just outside of Tokyo and I think many people kind of moved to Tokyo for work and stuff like that. And uh, the children, you know, their, their children or whatever uh, didn't want the house. And it's expensive to upkeep older homes and stuff. Like you have to like meet 
certain zoning regulations and stuff and just like I don't know people just like F it <laughs> just leave it I don't know if that's true but that's probably one of the reasons I can hear a murder hornet I heard the murder hornet Pearl Harbor breezy trade winds in 90 Ooh. it's like normal Oahu weather huh um, what do we got here? Oh, we've got a field. Uh, is this edamame? There's nothing growing on it yet, but yeah. Plots of land, people growing stuff. It's pretty nice. Very quiet and chill neighborhood. Uh, Olivia asks, how common are earthquakes? Earthquakes happen every day in Japan. Um, there's thousands of earthquakes like per year, but um, the majority of them are so small we don't feel them. You know what I mean? The detectors, like the, size, the seismic detectors will definitely pick them up and they log them on a map and everything. Like it, even in just like 30 days, I think there's like hundreds and hundreds of earthquakes. But um, how often is it to feel like, feel like a bigger earthquake? One that's like noticeable? Um, I don't know. It's, it's very random. It, like in one week, there could be three earthquakes and then you could go one year without feeling an earthquake. It's, it's all completely random. Earthquakes are unpredictable, very random. So yeah, but uh, Japan is covered in sensors. Um, so they have an alert, uh, an alert system. So anything over like a, a 5.0 um, it automatically sends alerts to people's phones in the area that might be affected. It happens very fast. It's almost instant because of the, de uh, the detectors. And uh, you, get, you get the alert like maybe two, three seconds, maybe four um, before you actually start feeling something. So it's actually pretty good. Um, and it's also very scary. <laughs> yeah, we are on the ring of fire. There's the the Pacific plate, the Philippine plate, like cram, like ramming into the, the Asian plate or whatever. It's, there's like all these plates and different um, fault lines, like crisscrossing all over the place. It's, uh, it's crazy. Yeah, Japan has a ton of volcanoes. Something you don't really hear about too much, but Japan has a ton of volcanoes. You know, Mount Fuji itself is a dormant volcano. At any moment, it could erupt. Who knows? It's not extinct. Uh, Drake, how you doing? Moving to Kofu soon and you're nervous for the earthquakes. Uh, Kofu, um, I don't know, I feel like you're not going to feel so many out there. Maybe once in a blue moon, but yeah. Um, God, I'm trying to cross the street. Let me cross. All right, here we go. Yeah, a lot of earthquakes happen along the like eastern shoreline, like uh, from like Chiba all the way up to Hokkaido. Like that's, there's a huge, huge fault line there um, in the Tokyo area. And then there's also the one in, uh, in Kansai area, the Nankai trough, I think that's what it's called. Anyways, um, check out, yeah, we're in a, we're still in, um, what do you call it, hydrangea season. So get some really beautiful ones. The colors are just amazing. Hey, Jim and Harriet, how are you guys? Cylon, good morning. Sherry, hello, hello. Yeah, it is, it is muggy, guys. Uh, it, it's, it's, I've got swamp ass. It's only 10 in the morning. This is just a precursor to what the rest of the summer is going to be like. And then into August, it's going to be so miserable. I think in August, guys, I'm going to have to like not live stream outside. I'm going to have to do like some just sit down like Q&A type of stuff inside the air, like in an air conditioned space, something like that, because it's just it's brutal. I hope you guys understand. <laughs> The flowers are nice. A Z, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, it's a Tuesday morning, guys. We're walking around in Matsudo. 
residential Matsudo area. Um, I'm not near the downtown part right now, but I figure we'll kind of zigzag our way in that direction. That way, uh, when the stream ends, I'll be at Matsudo Station and I can just take the train home. So it's a quick, quick and dirty, you know how it goes. Yeah, the nut fog is on standby, Jason. <laughs> the noist mutts. It's going to be fun. Just kidding, it's not fun. Yeah, what do you guys think of this neighborhood? Um, I mean, like every neighborhood here looks like this. It's like a mix of old and new, kind of modern, and uh, that one not so much. That's kind of unique. This is something you see more of like in Tokyo. You don't really see too many of like weird modern architecture things like that. Uh, Amy says, I'm sorry, I may have missed. Is this area closer to sea level? Actually, no, we're, um, we're inland, first of all. Well, I, sorry, I take that back. Matsudo is next to the Edogawa River. So that is technically like sea level-ish, kinda. Um, but the area I'm at now is like where I'm walking around. We're, we're kind of on an elevated area. So like if it, if it rains here, it never floods in this area. It all goes down down all the way down towards the Edo River. And so down there, that's where they get the flooding. Um, last week, guys, was crazy. There was a typhoon number two came up from Okinawa and then it just like kind of dragged, it didn't like directly hit mainland Japan, but it dragged all this rain, like the, a, a huge, un, like never ending band of rain. And that rain flooded so many places. My my specific little neighborhood um, had evacuation level four warnings for landslide and I was kind of freaking out because it was two in the morning and uh, my apartment is on a hill, on a steep hill. So it, potentially there could have been a landslide and my whole entire apartment building could have been washed away. It was kind of freaky. Um, then the next day, all the train lines were closed and stuff. I couldn't go to work. Yeah, there's a big park here. Anyways, yeah, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, we need a vending machine. We need a drink. Down to the floodplain, yeah. Do you guys remember like my other stream before, like a couple weeks ago, maybe even several months ago, I uh, walked around like the farm field area and then there was like, it's where, where we saw the little turtle. We saw Donatello, little baby turtle. Um, that area is like the low-lying floodplains, like next to the Edo River. Look at this. What is this? There's like a, a rectangular bush just hanging out. Water in the clay, how are you? Mary Jane, good morning. Yeah, I normally don't walk over on this side of the, the area of like where I live. It seems there's like a lot of cars and stuff going on over here. Like closer to where I live, there's like almost no cars. I feel like it's dangerous. I keep like do having to dodge cars or something over, uh, over in this area. Is it a bonsai shelf? Yeah, coffee bar hedge, that would be kind of cool. As long as your drink doesn't spill. Ah, okay, so this way is going out towards the main road. Good, uh, Gregory Lawson, how you doing? Mel in the house, what's up? Uh, Jim and Harriet with the $5. Guys, hearts and chat for Costa's World of Music. Jim and Harriet says, for the moist fund. Arigato gozaimasu. Yeah, we need, uh, we need to get a drink. I need caffeine, but I also don't need caffeine. I don't know. What do you guys think? Well, this is kind of a nice house. Seems modern and nice size. There's a lot of plants and flowers and stuff. It's looking good. Uh, back in the clay says, I think Duskin is the company that services uh, those room aircon units. Oh, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Oh, you mean uh, the, these ones? Um, I think it's called Daikin. I think, not Duskin. 
Duskin sounds like an American thing. I forget what that is. Anyways, uh, Mike Hawk, how are you? Corn soup in a can? No, <laughs> it's uh, it's summertime. They, they they don't sell corn soup. Uh, they don't sell soup can stuff in the vending machine during the summer. That's only uh, from like November to March or April, something like that. Cold tea or water will do. That's true. Caffeine is is goat. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of on that same boat. Like team caffeine. Uh, wow, it's kind of shaping up to be a nice day. Look at the clouds. Looking all fluffy. Oh, we passed the Duskin van. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm not paying attention to vehicles. I'm sorry. Okay, you're right. <laughs> So there's Daikin and Duskin. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. We're, I'm looking uh, for cats too. I got my eyes peeled. It's sunny. They might be out like, hey, it's finally sunny. We can kind of stretch our legs and go lay in the sun. But uh, so far, no luck. Yeah, there's a major intersection right over there. That kind of, uh, if I was to follow this road all the way down, that goes directly towards Matsudo Station. So I'm actually going to continue this way just a little bit and then we'll cross down over towards uh, Matsudo Station. Oh, it's in, in general, it's a house cleaning service? Okay. So I, I clean my home by myself, like always, forever, so I don't, I'm not familiar. It's noisy here guys, I'm sorry. Monster Ultra? Oh god, that's gonna give me like a heart palpitations. There's the Matsudo trash garbage truck. Cool whip. Whip. What are you talking about? Uh, Sherry says, Corey, did you remember your treats? I did. Yes, yes, I did. I did. I, I have, my, I have uh, cat treats with me. So just in case we see some cats, we'll be able to, uh, to maybe, you know, feed them, basically. Uh, looks like there's like a little community garden thing here. Flowers are kind of small right now, but yeah. Nice to see this. Uh-oh, is signal weak? Signal's weak here. Let me, um, let me try to backtrack. We okay, chat? I think we hit a dead spot. Hello? Uh, hello, chat. 69, uh, 69 cool whip. 69 cool whip, if you can hear me, if you could see the chat. 69 cool whip. 69 cool whip. Cool whip. <laughs> 69 cool whip. I think chat died. Oh no. Why is this area in bad, with bad reception? Damn it. 69 chudu. 69 cool. Okay, you guys can hear me. Okay. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I guess uh, as soon as I turn down that street, we just hit like a dead spot. Sorry about that. Hopefully we're back. Yeah, it happens, which is why I, you know, I mention it at the beginning of every stream, like we might buffer as we walk around. Some old homes here. Um, yeah, uh, Jim and Harriet ask, what's the strongest earthquake I've experienced uh, here in Tokyo? 
Um, I think like, what was it? It was like two years ago or three years ago, two years ago, maybe two years ago. Um, there was like a seven point something off the coast of uh, Miyagi and like Fukushima, that whole area. And they considered that one, it was really big. Uh, they considered that one an, like a quote unquote aftershock of the big uh, 2011 Tohoku earthquake. And um, it was weird because it happened almost literally like on the anniversary as well like the 10 year anniversary. Uh, that quake was so big in Tokyo, we could feel it very strongly. Like my entire apartment shook for like well over a minute. Um, my artwork and stuff on my walls fell down, like figurines on my desk fell down. Like it was, it was scary. Like I had to stand in the doorway, the door frame in my apartment and like just pray it wasn't gonna get any worse. Um, it was big. That was, that, uh, I don't know. I can't say exactly how, how much it was like in Matsudo, but it was significantly scary. Um, yeah, this is a, there's a mini car, like an actual car up on that thing. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cross the street here using the overpass. Um, did I just miss something? Yo, see, this is a different Cylon, 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 with $50. Oh my God. Guys, hearts and chat. It says, uh, hello, old friend. I still love your videos and live streams. Thank you. Oh, Cyclone, Cyclone. I'm reading it wrong. Cyclone. Yo, Cyclone. Thank you so much for the 50. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. You didn't have to do so much. That's so bright, I can't see the screen. Um, yeah, thank you guys. Hearts and chat for Cyclone. Arigato gozaimasu. Really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. That's huge. Um, yeah, you guys didn't have to do that. Like, $5 is okay. <laughs> you know, a dollar, 50 cents. Like, you guys, you know, I want you guys, I want you guys to enjoy everything for free. Donos are not required or anything like that. So um, anything you guys send my way, I, like really, I appreciate it so much. Um, it, it means a lot to me. You guys keep me going. You guys keep my spirits high. Thank you. Uh, Robert, how are you doing? Good morning. Yeah, sorry, I'm, just, I'm looking around now just to show you guys the, the view. Here's one of the main roads. Uh, that passes through Matsudo and it actually goes right into Tokyo. And look at all these trucks. It's a, it's a very uh, popular route for truck drivers. Yeah, and if they were to continue this way, it actually could uh, connects over towards uh, the, what is it? The Shuto, Ex Shoto, Sh Shuto Expressway or whatever. I forget the name of it. But yeah, it's all connected. Um, Lots of uh, commerce, industry. Oh, let's look down here. I haven't seen this. It's a nice person's house over there. Does someone live there? It looks empty. There's like no decorations, nothing. There's no car. Um, Cool, can we live there? Can we make that the Moist Fam house? No, you know what? That's not good because it's right next to this loud road. No, no, that doesn't work. But here's a lot too. It looks empty. How many bird's nests are in that car? That's a good question. Yeah, and this one? Yeah, I'm sure it's like fully empty, like it's fully gutted. Yeah, okay, um, let's go. Let's go. Uh, oh, I see a vending machine. Um, 
Oh, Costa's World of Music, Jim and Harriet with another $5. Guys, hearts and chat for Jim and Harriet says, we appreciate you, Corey. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you guys. I wish I could meet all of you. Uh, let's check this out. So they have uh, normal drinks, of course, but there's also coffee. Oh, the black, the latte. You know, there's a, there's a, uh, this series, they have another one. It's, it's a oat latte, oat milk latte. Um, that one's really good. I feel like drinking one of these. This one? Is it Spider-Man's car? Yeah, probably. Hey, Laurie. Hey, Summer uh, Sunshine. Yeah, um, Coke Zero, no thank you, uh, Aquarius, a little too sweet, should, I don't know guys, chat, what should I do? Should I get some tea, or should I get some coffee? Black coffee, or some tea? Should we go for the black? Should we just do it? Should we do it? Alright, we'll do it. We'll do it. I'm, I'm craving caffeine. I need caffeine. All right, one second. I got to pull out my coins here. Tea sounds so much better on a hot day. That is true, but I, I need caffeine. I need to wake up. And there's water in caffeine. I know caffeine is... Uh, sorry, water in coffee. I know coffee is a... Uh, what do you call it? It dehydrates you, but um, but YOLO. Uh, where's did this go in? Sorry, I'm putting coins in. Not melon soda, Sasha. God damn it! God damn it! Uh, how much is it? One sixty. Do I have enough for this? Sorry, I'm using a like. I have a bunch of ten yen coins in my wallet. <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of them because I have so many at home. Like on my desk, I have like a ton of, ton of, okay, I need 20 more yen. Uh, Fawn Marie says, where is the Boss Coffee? Oh uh, yeah, not on, not in this machine. This is owned by Coca-Cola, bottling company or whatever. So unfortunately, none here. Okay, did that, did we get it? Okay, let's do it. There we go. Um, there was another question. Sorry, one second. Let me um, put my wallet away and then grab the drink okay and I think we can just set up right here I think I can just set up the tripod like on this wall and then we'll uh I'll chat with you guys but give me just a second here to do that oh that's a that's a pillar I put it down guys ah oh, shit damn it as soon as I put it down on that wall, it says transmission is unstable due to network instability. <laughs> like, God, why? Why right there? Right where I was going to chat with you guys. Are we okay? Sorry, I, I missed some questions there. Uh, I was going to try to read them and answer them. And now it's like so far, so far up the chat. I can't scroll. Like, I don't know where it is. I'm sorry. Let's, uh, man, are we, we're effing pretty hard, huh? What the hell? Here, let's do uh, 69 the black. 69 the black. If you can hear me, if you can see the stream. Are we okay? God. Hello? <laughs> Hello, 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 hello. Ah, there we go. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, good. We're, we're better. I see the chat now finally moving. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, man, that was a nice shady spot too. As soon as I put it down on the wall, it's like network <laughs> instability. I'm like, what? Why? Um, I'm gonna go this way over here
The chat's broken? Probably. I broke the chat, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, let's go down this little side street here. But anyways, um, I forgot what I was saying and there were some questions I saw. Something about soba, best soba. Um, I, I honestly don't know. Um, I'm sorry. I'm not like a, I'm not one of those people that like keeps track of like the best soba or anything. Like there's so many good soba restaurants, but also, you know, to be honest, I, I'm not like a soba fan. Um, I like udon better, um, ramen, tsukemen, somen. Like I like those noodles better than soba noodles. So like zaru soba and stuff. Like I'm not I'm not such a big fan. Um, so with that being said, um, in my recent memory, uh, there was a place in Kawasaki at Kawasaki Daiishi Temple. There's an old hundred-year-old soba restaurant, and that place I ate some nishin soba. It's like a dried fish, like uh, simmered in like soy sauce and mirin. And then they put it on top of the soba. Uh, oh my God, it was so good. It was so good. So yeah, I, I would say that that, but that's not in Tokyo, that's in Kawasaki. Yo, Cyclone with $10 again says, you must find a good place to drink that beverage. Thank you, Cyclone. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato. Thank you guys, hearts and chat for Cyclone. Thank you, I'm sorry I didn't see that. Uh, yeah, the chat's acting a little bit like delayed or something today. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, mom, my mom is right. Soba is kind of a more rougher texture. It's like more grainy. Um, but yeah, I guess better for your health. Maybe that's why I don't like it. <laughs> it's not that I don't like it, it's just that I prefer other things more, if that makes any sense. Oh, you know what? There's a park up here. Let's go to this park. We're gonna go to the park. Hopefully there's reception in the park. We'll sit down, we'll find a bench. We'll park, park my buttocks on a bench and uh, We'll drink the coffee, we'll talk, and you guys can ask me all the questions you want. Um, a long time ago, like two, three years ago, I think three years ago, first year of the pandemic, we walked by this house on a live stream. And we were trying to guess like why their house is so big and we, we figured that they own like all the land around here. Like, so this is like the original house. Do you guys remember that? Who's been around that long? Who remembers that stream? Soba will make you poop. Yeah, I love pooping. Yeah, so if I, oh, look at these hydrangeas. Very nice, they're like nice soft blue. There's some subtle, subtle pink coming through here. This one has some subtle like green, yellow. Maybe not so subtle. Yeah, we've got a mixture here, some pinks purples yeah Sasha you do cyclone you do nice yeah if um, if you guys experience any weird issues with with any stream like my stream twitch streaming uh, YouTube streaming any any stream um, if it seems weird or wonky the chats like delayed or something just you know refresh the stream usually that kind of fixes the issues Yo, Daniel and Yuka, ohayou gozaimasu. Genki. Um, Abigail says, I love hydrangeas. You can change their colors with the pH balance in the soil. Yeah, yeah, I love peeing in the soil. No, just kidding. Um, I don't do that. <laughs> um, yeah, it's very cool. So across the street, you can see all the different uh, hydrangeas. Um, there's a lot of pinks. I see some purples over there. Uh, over there, some white. Cyclone says, do you still teach? I do, I do. But uh, I am migrating out of education after you know, such a long time of teaching, you know, for like a decade, basically. Uh, I'm currently studying coding, JavaScript, and that kind of shit, and uh, 
trying to make a career change this year. Hopefully by the end, like hopefully before Christmas, I sh like my goal is to be out of teaching and into a tech job. Sorry, I missed a, I missed chat. Did, was there a question? People are laughing. Um, yeah, look at this. Look at the pinks. Looks so pretty. Sandra C, how are you doing? Good morning. It's very muggy over here because there's a lot of green, like a lot of trees as we enter this like park area. Ah, okay, it's muggy. Um, what just happened? Yo, Cyclone again with the $50 again? Again, what? No, <laughs> you don't have to do that. Oh my God, it says here's to the change of place. Good luck. Oh, ah. Yo, Cyclone, <laughs> Why? what are you doing? What are you doing? Thank you so much. You, you, you didn't have to do that. You already donated once, actually twice before that. You, oh my God, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> Thank you, like five cents. Five cents would have been totally fine. Probably the fees cost more than five cents, but yeah, thank you so much. Really, that means a lot. Like, like you don't have to donate that much at all. I do appreciate the, the message. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, that is the goal. Um, changing my life, my career, trying to just get out of this hole. Like, to be honest, um, yeah, teaching, it's been rewarding in its own way, but like, you, you can't really make any money. You can't like save up for a future or retirement like so well. Like, it, it just sucks. Like, I hate being poor. <laughs> yeah, my mom's like, just shut up and just thank him. Yeah, I know, I know, but I can't just, just thank him. I have to like, Thank him a lot. <laughs> him or her. I don't know. Cyclone, are you? Anyways, um, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Moist fam also. Guys, hearts and chat for Cyclone. Says Cyclone says, I've been here since the beginning, so I understand. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a weird 10 years um, on YouTube. And I started YouTube when I started teaching English. That's that was weird. Like, I think my first video is me trying to get, like, my FBI background check to work in Korea as a teacher. So, um, it got me into this. And I'm trying to get out of it. And I, I will still continue YouTubing, guys. So, don't worry. Even when I change my job and stuff, I'll actually be able to afford to, like, go to places outside of Tokyo. Yeah, so, um, this place, this is an evacuation um, location. It's a huge park. This is Matsudo Central Park. And they have a, they have this old uh, guard shack here. I think before they used to have like a, a military academy or something here. I forget, or barracks or something. So that's what these, these here. That there used to be a gate right here, and this used to be the guard shack for that, like back in the day. Maricel, how you doing? Uh, Daniel and Yuka says uh, a kaiwa in Japan is very underpaid. Yeah. Yeah, I've been doing it for four years now and it makes way less than what I was making in Korea. Um, but yeah, this is kind of cool, huh? Can we go in? Neat, but also not neat. I would hate to just stand here all day as a guard. Yo, clockwork, a tiny, how are you doing? Okay, so, uh, oh, there's a lot of kids playing over there, so we're gonna avoid that area so we don't, you know, show children's faces on stream. But I'm gonna look around somewhere, I guess, uh, maybe over there. Oh no, that's a playground. I feel like the kids are gonna go over there, maybe. Ah, uh, there's nobody over here, okay. Oh, look at these little animals. Does it smell like pee in there? Liz, you know, I thought it was going to, but it doesn't. Um, and I guess because there is a, actually like public toilets right here, like you can see the urinals from the side. 
Uh, back in the clay says, Corey, 20 years ago in Korea, someone came back after teaching English. They were able to sample and brush shoulders with the elite and reap the rewards. Yeah, it used to be a very, very prestigious position. And then it just got like really bastardized. But that's, you know, due in part to the, the whole reliance on people learning English to pass high school and college entrance exams. Like you, you need to do that in order to get into school. Even if your school is not related to English at all, it's like it's just become a, a requirement. And the stress that that has put on children over the last like 20, 30 years is just so ridiculous. Um, I feel really bad for those kids. Um, I feel like I missed something else. Cy Cyclone again, what with the 50, that's that's one hundred and sixty dollars. Oh my God, uh, it says, I was in the same boat before I started my own business. So you have, oh, I missed it. So you have hope to my friend. Oh, thank you so much. Yo, Cyclone, Cyclone is the goat. Guys, yeah, hearts, oh, hello? <laughs> I thought I ended the stream. Uh, yo, Cyclone, thank you so much, really. It, it means a lot to me from the bottom of my heart. Arigato gozaimasu. Uh, everybody, spam hearts for Cyclone. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, that's actually going to help me a lot. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a tight year on, with money and stuff and taking classes and whatnot. But um, thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you, thank you. Um, let's, uh, let's drink this coffee. I think I can, um, if I remember correctly, I can raise this up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, is that okay? We okay, chat? Yeah, I think this is good. Looks a bit weird. I'm gonna take off my mask. Yeah, oh, it's dark. It's really dark. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's dark. I, uh, okay, I hope you guys can see my face and whatnot. I'm sitting in the shade, maybe that's why. But yeah, um, we're gonna drink the black and uh, we're gonna drink a lot of it because I need caffeine. Uh, press one in chat if you love caffeine. <laughs> Ty type one in chat if you love caffeine. I wanna see how many caffeine lovers do we have out there. It's fine, okay, cool. As long as you guys, as long as you guys can hear me. Um, Corey, I would if I could, but hopefully watching your stream with you helps too. Yeah, thank you, yeah, please, like I said, uh, there's no, like, please enjoy the streams for free. It's all free. Everything on my channel is free. There's nothing paid. So yeah. Um, but yeah, anybody that donates anything, please, thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. It means a lot. Um, Fawn, Z, Mark, uh, Sandra C, follow my obsession. Stacy Reed, Costa's World of Music Memories, back in the clay. What are you doing? Uh, with the $50 says, good luck with coding school. Thank you guys, hearts and chat for back in the clay. You didn't have to do that. <laughs> What? <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> what is happening? Um, I was just doing a normal stream like in my neighborhood. We didn't, we didn't have to like drop huge donos today. <laughs> oh my God. Um, okay, wow, a lot of people love caffeine. That's great. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. Jason's blood is caffeinated. Wow. Uh, Sherry asked a question. It got buried somewhere. Oh, there it is. I did have a question earlier. Is ramen... Ah, oh, God, it went away again. Is ramen as salty there as it is here in the States? Um, yeah, ramen can be kind of salty. Um, I mean, they, they actually have uh, shio ramen, which is like salt-based br broth. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, it can be salty. It, it, so, ramen in general has a lot of sodium. So... Yeah, uh, Sasha says, I said 50 dono to Corey challenge earlier and I guess they took it to heart. <laughs> thank you, Sasha. Um, deserving Corey. I don't deserve anything, but thank you. Really, it, it means a lot to me. Um, cheers, guys. Kampai. Oh, that's so good. It's very refreshing. Thank you. Um, oh my God, it's getting out. Okay, uh, what, what do I say? Um, I feel really bad. Uh, I feel really bad. <laughs> um, 
Oh my god. <laughs> Cyclone. But I officially have a simp. <laughs> no, that's uh, that's crazy. You don't have to do that. Um, thank you. That, thank you. Thank you. That means a lot to me. I really appreciate that. Guys, hearts in chat. I don't know what to say. Thank you. That's just, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. I wish YouTube didn't take 30%. <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I don't know what to say. Yeah, that's insane. That is insane. Um, Arigatou gozaimasu. Kamsamnida. Really. Yeah, lots of love. Guys, um, I'm feeling the love. Please, let, no, no more donos. No more. That, that's enough for the stream. Like that, that, that covers like so much. Um, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Cyclone, if there's anything you would like me to try to find while walking around in the next like, I don't know, next 40 minutes or something, um, I will try to do that for you. Shirtless stream. No, we're not doing shirtless stream. Unless you guys want to see some man boobs. Some moist boobs. Yeah. Oh man, it is really humid here. Oh look, the guy's like practicing his golf swing behind me. Yeah, get it, get it, get it. Unless he's practicing like swinging a scythe and he's like, like sowing some, some wheat or something. Um, Mary Jane says, today is your lucky day. Corey, happy for you. Thank you. Uh, some food, food. Um, so the problem is, is I can't stream in any restaurants. Like I can't go in, excuse me, hiccups. I can't really go indoors. Um, it was 92% humidity. Yeah, it, it's just, it was so muggy. Like my bed sheets, my, my, the t-shirt on my back, like everything was just so damp. It just felt so wet. It was gross. And it kind of feels like that right now too. Um, Ice cream? I guess we could do some ice cream. Maybe if we hit up like a kombini or something, or I don't know, maybe there's like a shop that's selling like bento outside. I don't, I don't know, um, but we can go look. Maybe ice cream would be good. Ah, oh, it's good. Yeah, I just feel really bad now because um, a lot of that money, um, actually YouTube is gonna take 30%. Um, but anyways, yeah, uh, thank you, thank you. It means a lot. Um, Nagashi Soulman, I, like where am I gonna find that right now in the next 40 minutes? <laughs> I don't know. And like I said, I can't eat inside of uh, buildings. I can't go in buildings in live stream. Um, the signal gets cut off like very easily. I guess ice cream, yeah? Maybe we'll, we'll go find a kombini. Is that okay, uh, Cyclone? If we just hit up a, a kombini or something um, instead and then I, I pick up some ice cream. Is that okay? Kind of don't feel so hungry either, but maybe ice cream's okay. Uh, Sid, how are you? Um, yeah, I hope you guys have drinks and stuff. Um, maybe I should try to wrap up this drinking session and we'll go, we'll go hunt for some ice cream. Does that sound okay? Of course, okay, awesome. Okay. Let's uh, put this in my bag. Hey, Christopher, how you doing? Fancy ramen from the Kombini? Oh my God, no. <laughs> we'll, we'll go look, we'll, we'll see what we can find. All right, uh, the children are migrating this way, so I'm gonna actually take this as my cue to leave this part. They're, they're starting to come over here. Oh God, they're, they're actually over where I want to go. So they're light, can you see them? They're lined up over there. That's where I need to go. So I'm actually gonna just like, kind of go this way and dodge them if possible. We don't wanna show random children's faces on stream. It happens once in a blue moon, but um, you know, if I can avoid it, I will avoid it. Evade the children of the corn. That's, yeah, that's exactly who they are. 
Uh, it will be all right. All right, Sherry. Cool, cool. Thank you. Um, Jason says, I strongly encourage everyone to consider donating via PayPal app so YouTube doesn't take a huge cut like the Yakuza and there's no fee. That is true. Um, Robert says, hey, Corey, I was in March. Uh, I was, I guess, in Japan in March. I got uh, married and fell in love with Japan. Japan. Oh, nice. Congratulations. That's awesome. Choco Mint, I believe, Corey's favorite. Yes, I love Choco Mint. Choco Mint ice cream is god tier. So there's a yeah, nice little park. I think I've walked here before with you guys. Dr. Link from Mexico. Hello. Oh, Donby in the house. What's up, Donby? I didn't see you. I'm sorry. Wait, why are you drop kicking me? Don't drop kick me. <laughs> I got enough to fly someplace? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> um, tickets are so expensive. And then you got to think about hotels and all that other stuff. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not traveling anytime soon. I'm, I'm currently taking classes, so I can't really go anywhere. Uh, how do I get out of here? I guess we'll go this way. Yeah, in the autumn, this place is really nice. There's like this momiji tree right here, the Japanese maple tree. It turns very bright red. Um, yeah, nice little park. Jason did a donation via PayPal. Yo, guys, hearts and chat for brother Jason. Mahalos, man. Arigato gozaimasu. Really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Looks hot out, man, but peaceful. Yeah, it's uh, the sun is coming out. It's mixing with the humidity. It's uh, it's really muggy. I'm like I'm I'm sweating. My pits are wet. My back is wet. Oh yeah, Dombey, definitely. Yeah, how about down there? Um, like it's just always muggy, but now that the sun's coming out, it's just it's not a good combination. Uh, Christopher says, I loved your recent Shinjuku video, by the way, the Godzilla mural nearby. Is that building significant to Godzilla? I don't know if it's like in a movie or anything like that, but on top of that building, there's actually like a, a huge, like, like, I guess like quote unquote life size, uh, Gojira head. And apparently like it breathes fire or smoke or something. And it's right outside of like a hotel window. Um, you can go up there and check it out. I, I need to figure that out. I haven't been up there yet, but. Um, let's go this way. Can I go this way? Yeah, uh, I think we can go this way. Let me go down. Hey, Amy R, how you doing? Yeah. Dami says, I just woke up, but it's very cloudy down this way. Definitely moist. Yeah, it was very cloudy when I started like my stream and then it really like kind of opened up. So there's like, you can see the blue sky a little bit. Um, the sun is just like blaring down through that stuff. And it's just, it's not good. <laughs> um, yeah, today's supposed to be a high of like 30, 29, 30. But when I started my stream, it was like 24 already. Um, there's this uh, Shinto shrine here. It actually goes up like very modern cement stairs to this one little thing right there. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm in Matsudo. This is this is where I live. I live in Matsudo in Chiba Prefecture. It's uh it's northeast of Tokyo. It's so like Tokyo Prefecture. Um, the closest ward is Katsushika Ward, and so like that's where, like, you know, Kameari is, Shibamata, like those cool places. And then there's it's right next to the Edo River, the Edo Gawa. And so yeah, Matsudo is like literally just across the river from Tokyo Prefecture. Neko wa doko? Inai. Come on. Hmm. Yo, Anita McAllister with the $50 super sticker, guys. Hearts and chat for Anita. Oh my God. 
What is going on today? <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. Guys, we need to get some hearts in chat for Anita. Wow. Wow, Bisma, how are you? Amy. Hi, hi, hi. Guys, uh, the, 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 you don't have to donate anything. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so this is coming down um, towards Matsudo Station. I don't know if you guys are like noodle enthusiasts, the like Tomita ramen or whatever it's called, skimen. It's like it's uh, back like back in this side street over here. Yeah, Jason had the fifty on. T I, I don't even know. Um, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's close. It's like four fifty, four sixty now. Um, unfortunately, YouTube does take thirty percent, so that is a bummer. But um, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Thank you. Uh, oh, you missed a lot. You're in Hawaii. Nice. I hope you had a good time. Let me try to cross the street here so we can uh, go to a kombini. Oh, I see two dogs. Uh, straight ahead in the center of the screen, there's a white dog and a black dog coming up. Yay, so what is that? Inu, Inu count three, but Neko, no Nekos yet. Spicy ramen? Hell yeah. Me too. Uh, Sid asks, what's fun around this area? So to be honest, uh, Matsudo is actually just like a residential area. It's considered like a like a quote-unquote satellite city of Tokyo. So um, it's outside of Tokyo, but there's a lot of people that live here that work in Tokyo. It's it's cheaper. Um, they can have they can raise their families and stuff here, go to school here. Um, their children can go to school here, and then uh, yeah, so. What is there to do? There isn't really, like really anything like special so much about Matsudo, but there, there is some like uh, the Namco Game Center over here by the station. Um, like that's it, really. Uh, there's no mall here. There's no theater. I have to go to a. I have to go into Tokyo to Kameari to go to the nearest like big movie theater um, or Kashiwa. Yeah. Not, not so much to do here. Sleeper city? Um, yeah, it's, it's just a residential city, you know. There are restaurants and stuff, and some bars. And a few, like one or two game centers, maybe three, like if that. Oh, there used to be a pachinko parlor here. It looks like uh, they stripped all the signage off the outside. That's new. I wonder when that happened. What is this deal? Uh, we're here at Yoshinoya and they have uh, some thing, Niku Porto. Niku, what? Porto da. Oh, Ultra. What is. So there's some kind of deal thing here with uh, Ultraman at Yoshinoya. Yeah, exactly. Like um, from Matsudo Station, there's a rapid train, the Kaisoku train, and it it, uh, it can arrive in Ueno in like about 18 minutes, 17 to 18 minutes. Um, yeah, so I'm at Matsudo Station right now. Niku is meat. Yes. We're on a lower level entrance area. This is the taxi area for the station. But yeah, Matsudo Station. They're doing all this like construction work up above here. They're building like a whole new section for the station. I don't know when they're gonna open that, but they've been working on that for like the last three years. Oh, 
Paulista Niku Cha Cha Cha. All right, I see a kombini. Um, I'm gonna try to go in there. I don't know if it's gonna buffer the stream because we're gonna be inside of a building. But I'm gonna go in there and try to get some ice cream very fast and then head out, okay? So if I don't talk or if I don't read chat or if we start buffering, I apologize in advance. Um, one second, let me get out my, my wallet so I can make this process like even faster. Uh, Donby, no, that construction work is still going. Um, just the other week, they closed one of the platforms. So, like, you know how there's like two sides of the platform for like the different directions of the train? They closed one, so all the trains had to go arrive at only one track. And so people going south or people going north had to wait on the same platform. It was, uh, and then like wait at the same like side of the platform. It was really bad. Do Metro Systems or any Metropolitan store cater to English-speaking folk? Uh, yeah, Chris, uh, Christopher. Yeah, there's, um, you can go to some bookstores and stuff. Um, the Metro de definitely has signage in English. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of things that do offer English. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I would say yes. Yes, definitely. All right, guys, we're going to go in here. Hopefully, uh, they don't yell at me for streaming. And uh, we're trying to get some ice cream, pay real quick. If we start buffering, I'm sorry. Hang tight. That's not it. Oh, we got mint choco ice cream. Mint choco. Looks good. How's chat? I think we're okay. Inu 4. Was there another Inu? Um, this is really good, but so is this. It's like a chocolate bar with vanilla ice cream in the middle of it. I usually get this one. So let's try this one. We never get this one. Are we good, chat? <laughs> I used my card to pay for a hundred something yen ice cream. <laughs> Um, let's, uh, let's go to somewhere where we can eat this thing. <laughs> yeah, Cyclone, this is for you, okay? And for everybody else, too. Um, was there a fourth dog? I didn't see the fourth dog. What is going on? I think the police is, like, yelling something. Let's go take a look. What are they yelling at? Are they just yelling at like cars to move? Or did someone just get pulled over? The lazy audio is peak Japan. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, the taxi was blocking the way. Oh, okay. Nobody could go through. And now the cop is blocking the way. <laughs> he put on his emergencies. 
Uh, Z says, do you have any Family Mart socks? I heard they're the best. Uh, they're really cool. Uh, you can get the rainbow colors or the, the Family Mart colors, but uh, I don't wear high socks. I wear low socks, like ankle socks, you know what I mean? So that's why I, uh, I don't have those. I just don't wear that. Yeah, these cars are like stuck. They can't go through here. It's kind of like a bottleneck. Yeah, bro, take your lips off the microphone. I know he was inhaling it. We should put some shoe polish on on the outside of his uh, mic, like they did in Police Academy. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you guys are the real ones. Um, all right, let's let's try to eat this somewhere real quick. I think there's there might be some benches over here at the bus stop. Let's go try. Seventies high. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, over here. We'll go. We'll go eat outside of the bus. We'll, we'll look like we're waiting for the bus, but we're not actually waiting for the bus. So this is a, a, a little tiny bus terminal. On this side, there's another one on the other side of the station. But yeah, I can just sit here. Oh, someone left their little uh, Sakura keychain thing. Yeah, it's, it's like um, Korea does that too. They just drive around with the lights on. It's just to, I guess, like make people aware that, you know, don't commit crimes. Are we good? We good? We good? Uh, Z says, I'm half Asian, we live in flip-flops. That is true. Very true. As another half Asian, I agree. Um, oh man, a skunk is outside my house. Oh man, I haven't, I, like I still remember the smell very, very well. Get your tomato juice ready. No. So um, yeah, this is a, a chocolate ice cream bar. It's, uh, it's kind of long and flat, but inside has uh, vanilla, so it should be good. This is really good. Um, it's a lot of chocolate, and they, um, they have the packaging, so you can like feel like this, and then you can hold it here, so you don't like get your hands dirty or anything like that. Rebecca! Hello, hello, hello. Um, yeah, let me, let me open this real quick. Yeah, so there we go. You can see it's got like sections so you could like bite and break it off. It's really good. If you ever have a chance, if you guys like chocolate, if you like ice cream, it, this is like a chocolate bar ice cream. It's really good. Itadakimasu. Thank you, Cyclone and everybody for the donos. Yay. It has the same, I don't know, the same like mouthfeel as like a Klondike bar. You know, it's like the crunchy chocolate outside and then the, the vanilla inside. It's like that, except it's much thinner. And it's not like peppermint or anything like that. It's just straight up vanilla. It's really good. It's so good, but I have to eat it fast because it is hot. It is hot, guys. I can already see it's like starting to, it's like borderline melting. Mm. Uh, lactose. This is actually one of the, the few things I can actually eat. And it's no problem. I guess um, it's lactose free. Like it's processed in a way that there's no lactose in it, I guess. I don't know. I have no problem eating this. Uh, Bisma says, I'm just gonna go to the Mart for the ice cream after this stream. <laughs> yeah, I hope everyone has ice cream. If you guys have ice cream, get some right now. We can eat it together. 
Mmm. It's crunchy. Oh, my jaw. <laughs> it sounds like a wrap. It does sound like a wrap. Yeah, I gotta push this up. Oh yeah, there's more. Oh, it's growing. It's a grower, not a shower. Um, you already had some, I see. Um, Jim and Harriet are asking, what would be the American equivalent? I don't know. I, I, I guess like if you made a Klondike bar elongated and thin, like a chocolate bar, like rectangular and long, I guess kind of like that. Um, but, but then also make the chocolate outside part more thick so that when you bite it, it actually like crunches a lot. That's the only thing I can compare it to. I don't know what else in America it might be similar to. Wow, Sid, that's really nice. It's very nice of that guy. Yeah, so the company, yeah, Morinaga. Uh, J Vlog, how you doing, by the way? Yeah, Morinaga, very famous company. I'm sure you guys have seen this. They, they make all kinds of like food product brands. Uh, sorry, food products. Um, yeah, chocolate, like all kinds of stuff. Mm. Can you hear the crunch? Yeah, when, when I crunch it, it's really good. It has a good snap to it. Yeah, anyways. Um, oh God, it's so hot. Let's try to finish this up and then we'll, we'll walk around a little bit more. Mm. Yum, yum. ASMR. I think this is the last bite. Mm-hmm. There we go. Really good, really good. Oh my God. It's very sweet though. I need to wash it down with some, some of the black. The black. Uh, Anita says, nice to see you are getting back to yourself after COVID. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm actually still recovering. Trust me, like I'm not coughing right now, but like last night I was coughing a little bit here and there. Um, I'm in week six of being free of COVID, but it's also week six of coughing. <laughs> it sucks. Um, which is why I'm still wearing a mask when I go out. Um, I still avoid people. I try to social distance as much as possible. I wash my hands all the time when I'm out. Um, going around, I use the hand sanitizer every chance I get. Zaburaku. Exactly, Daniel. Who, wait, so Daniel and Yuka, um, who, because I know you guys are a couple, like who, who's typing? Is it Daniel <laughs> or is it Yuka? I, I, I always wondered that. Because I know you both speak English, and uh, obviously Daniel is, I think, from... Daniel, you're from New Zealand, right? Are you a Kiwi? Anyways, um, yeah. Zaburaku. <laughs> is there a katakana on here? It, there isn't, but yeah, it's called Zaburaku. Yeah, if you guys ever have a chance, try to find this ice cream. It's, it's the bomb. Ah. Uh, looks like chats hiccup, hiccuping. Yeah, I think YouTube server, something's going on. Like, oh look, I made a little baby one. Like it's elongated and then it's like, meow. it shrinks. Yay, now it's a little cube. Uh, what am I missing in chat? Here, uh, Amy says, okay, Dombi, I was hoping to go in, okay. Uh, Clockwork says, I had to, uh, I had it twice COVID and it took so long to get my sense of taste back. Ooh, yeah, I lost my sense of taste and smell for like three or four days, but everything's back to normal. 
Uh, Eric, how you doing? Says uh, Missing Tokyo was uh, was there last April. Yay. All right, let's go ahead and uh, walk around a little bit more. Um, we're coming upon like the end of the stream a little bit, guys. So, oh, let me put my trash in my bag. Mask up. All right, you guys, you guys okay, chat? Everybody okay? Everybody good? You guys good? Let me, let me see some hearts in chat. Just hearts in chat if you're doing good. If you're enjoying the stream and you're doing good, hearts in chat. <laughs> Z says, Nightbot keeps telling me to drink. Now I have to use the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, stay hydrated. You got to keep it moist, y'all. We great? All right, nice, Liz. Good to hear, good to hear. Yeah, there it is. Uh, Sid says, do certain foods taste gross to you who had loss of taste afterwards? Uh, for me, no. My loss of taste was complete, like, completely gone for like three, four days. Like kimchi, garlic, like soy sauce, anything that has like a very strong flavor. Like I couldn't taste it or smell it whatsoever. It was the weirdest sensation. Yeah, sorry, let me fix this. There we go. We out here, you know? Hell yeah, Jason. Nice. Yeah. So it's shaping up to be a very nice day, but it's going to be very hot. So I hope you guys keep it safe, keep it moist. I'm going to be doing the same. Yo, Julinda, how are you? Laurie says, yes, I only wanted bland chicken for days. Much better now. <laughs> yeah. Let's go up. Let's go up and through, I guess, the station. Yo, Shushu shoo, made it. You, 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 you woke up and you typed what you said you were going to type. Okay. All right. Fucking asshole. He's in the crosswalk and he's just, he didn't even stop. He had to swerve to not hit me. And then he said something at me. Uh, what is the temperature now? Uh, it's probably 20, 26, maybe 27. I don't know. It's very warm right now. It's very muggy. Famima sells lots of steamed chicken and grilled chicken. Yeah, that is true. Nut roasting hot. Yeah, we're, we're getting to nut mist levels. Here's the taxi area. Does most burger have moss in it? Yes. That's what all of the patties and the meat and everything, they're all made from moss. Yeah, he was just like blasting through. I was in the crosswalk. I had the right away. And uh, yeah, that guy was just super rude. He said something. I couldn't hear what he said, but it was obviously at me because I was apparently in his way. Um, yeah, I would have clotheslined that fucker. Just kidding, I wouldn't have done that, but I would have definitely kicked his bike over. Um, no, okay, I wouldn't have done that either, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, 100% um, pure vegan moss burger, yeah. They actually have a, a vegan burger, I think. There's, it's, I think it's called the green burger. It's like 100% vegan. I've had it before. It's actually not that bad. Mohimos. <laughs> Mohimos. That's pretty funny. You're gonna goo it? Oh yeah, we've got goo it. I forgot about goo it. Do you guys remember goo it, this massage place? That's good, Lori. That's good. Yeah, me too. It was just like, it felt like a, a normal fever flu, like, except for the day I had the chills. Like I was sweating and then my whole body was shivering uncontrollably. Uh, that part was actually really effed up. But yeah, um, please stay safe, y'all. I worry. The pandemic is not over. 
even if the government tells us it is. Clothesline and kick his bike. Yeah, and then take his bike. I just take it. We're gonna go for a bike stream. Yay, bike stream. No, it's okay. I talk a lot of, a lot of F, but I think if it came down to it, um, I wouldn't really do anything. I mean, unless he per, like attacked me, then then it's you know free for all. I will defend myself. Uh, so the building in the distance, yeah, that uh, that tall building over there. That's actually not that tall. It's just that's the top of a hill. There's a big hill going going up that road. That is uh, Matsudo City Hall. That is the city hall building. That's where I go if I want to like do something about my address, like some paperwork or something, like my number card, like all that stuff is over there. Yeah, did you see the Sakura? I, I passed by it, it was like Sakura something. Go it to me, baby. <laughs> Yeah, just looking around, just showing you guys uh, a little bit of uh, the downtown Matsudo area. Yeah, we started off like kind of near my house in the residential part, and then we're just kind of hanging out. Not the biggest station area, but it is, I guess, significant for Chiba. A lot of people come here and then transfer. Um, and then head into Tokyo. So, yeah, it's crazy. When I when I want to go into Tokyo and like on busy days and stuff, like morning rush hour is just absolutely bonkers at this station. Yeah, famed Japanese bureaucracy. Yeah, Rupesh, um, I announced uh, there's no there was no live stream yesterday. That's uh, yesterday was Monday. Today is Tuesday. I, uh, I announced it in my Discord, my Discord and my YouTube community tab. So if you guys are ever curious about like when I'm going to or not going to stream or whatever, just pay attention to the YouTube community tab. That's where I do all my updates. I let you guys know when the next stream is going to be. And so yeah, last night I, I announced it uh, like 12 hours in advance just because uh, the weather said it wasn't going to rain. So I was like, okay, I got to quickly announce this. So I'm sorry that there wasn't more than a 12 hour notice. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually uh, hop on down to the train and then I'll end my stream on the platform. Does that sound okay? All right, there we go. So this is the Shin Keisei line. And this is actually going towards my, uh, this is the line I take to get to my local place, to my, my neighborhood. So we'll just go down, just scope out the platform. And then I'll wrap it up. Yeah, what time is it? Oh, it's like 11, almost 11.30, so that's good. Yeah, so here it is, the pink line, the Shinkeisei line. This is the very end of the line, or, or the beginning of the line, however you want to look at it. So it'll just leave this platform. Um, the one on the left side is leaving in two minutes. So I, I'm not going to catch that one. I will just wrap it up with you guys, and then I'll catch this one, which leaves in 10 minutes from now. But yeah, let's uh, let's see what's around here just really quickly. Um, yeah, very simple platform, very tiny. The train is only four cars, so yeah, it's very very simple. Sometimes they have uh, decorations like uh, graphics like all over the train. Oh no, are we effing inside of this platform? I'm sorry. Yeah, so this is pretty much it. Um, 
at some point this line actually splits so sometimes th this one's a chiba chuo that's where it's going but this one is not going there this one's going to keisei uh, tsudanuma so it's a different destination so depending on where you want to go you have to hop on either the left one or the right one no f nice yeah there's a lot of pink everywhere so if, uh, these stairs right here, like every morning, like if I'm leaving my house and I'm going to Tokyo or I'm going to the office, I arrive here. Usually my train arrives here. And then I, I'm, I'm always at this door and then I run up the stairs and then I transfer over to the Joban line. So you guys are seeing like what basically I see every time I transfer when I'm heading into Tokyo, I go this way. Yeah, and if I look, um, maybe we can look inside the train. Oh, there's some AC in here, it's nice. Uh, we can see the controls. Very nice, empty, empty train. There's like no, almost nobody. There's only two people that I can see. Yeah, so I'll be I'll be taking this train. Uh, this other train's about to leave. Let's uh, listen to the jingle sound, like when the doors gonna you know close or whatever. I can hear the the brake system starting to warm up. They're gonna leave any second here. Yeah, there's a few uh, vending machines here. If you guys are like thirsty, they do have a. Uh, Yakurut 1000 and then some box milk here cafe ole cafe ole with uh, ichigo ole strawberry yeah, it's about to leave they're announcing it and then uh, over here there's uh, ice cream oh there it is <laughs> yeah, Jason, Densha Dego is... That's a difficult game. Uh, are the trains automated? Um, mostly, but there is, you know, like, like airplanes, uh, they do have the ability for humans to control it. Uh, this one is definitely controlled by humans. But if they wanted to, it could be automated, I think. At least, I th at least for this line, I think. But, uh, maybe other lines you can't. And there it goes. Bye. Yeah, so usually I'll, I'll come off from my house. I'll come over here, I'll go up, I'll cross over to that one. And then that, that platform, not this platform, but the other platform, that one goes all the way towards Tokyo. And that's where the rapid line goes. And so, yeah, we can see down there. Oh, there's a train coming. Yeah, so anyways, guys, um, I just want to say thank you so much. Uh, really, from the bottom of my heart, all the donos, like that, that, that was just like mind-blowing. Uh, Cyclone, uh, everybody, I'm so sorry. I forget the names right now. Um, you guys didn't have to do that. Uh, but thank you, thank you. Arigatou um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, just chill, like kind of Matsudo stream here on the Tuesday morning. And um, yeah. Danielle says, uh, how much is it to ride the train? So it depends on like which train line you're riding and how far you go. So um, for me, from here to my station, it's only like 120 yen or something like that. Oh, the next train just arrived. Oh, this one does have some graphics on it. It's got a KO Gas, the KO Gas Company um, advertisement on there. Yeah, but uh, I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you so much to the Moist fam. Much love to all y'all. Um, I will see you guys in the Discord. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thanks for, uh, you know, hanging out with, uh, through the buffering and stuff like that. I'm sorry we didn't see any cats, but we did see four dogs. Yeah, so is everybody going that way? Yeah, see, everybody's going up the stairs. That's what I do <laughs> when I transfer. Yeah, anyways, guys, thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, much love. 
to all of y'all. I will see you guys uh, in Discord and see you guys later. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hop on uh, this th this train over here and head home. All right, guys, take care. Yeah, it's hot. As you can see, I'm like kind of sweaty. I'm glistening with moisture. <laughs> it's humid. It's humid. Uh, much love, guys. Thank you. Otsukaresama. Bye bye. Take care. See you guys next time. Jane, mata kondo ne. Otsukare. Bye bye. Bye. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. Bye bye.